Yes, good morning, Dr. Wardros, morning. Mm. Shaka, I hope you enjoyed our piano. I was just catching my breath after a big dance this morning. Thanks to Abdu, our DJ Abdu. Samoa, I can see you there. Abel, Daisy, good morning, everybody. I, I would say today um, is quite exciting. You can see we are starting with a very big number already. And I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. Um, and we just dived straight into today's stand up. So um, I don't know if there are any announcements from the 10 Academy team, from the tutors. We can start with that before we kick off um, with the updates. Ever raised anybody from the 10 Academy any announcements? None from Everest, okay. Uh, and I assume none from the tutors. All right. Okay, guys. Okay, we will just dive straight into it. I'm, I'm expecting now to be seeing some hand up going on. Some hands up. Who wants to open for us? Oh, Martin Luther, the king. You're already there. Good morning, Martin. Just unmute and share with us your updates. Um, any blockers you're facing? Uh, uh, <coughs> you've learned probably within okay. The uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, so yesterday, what I've been working on was I was working on the causal on the causal networks and also causal graphs. So, uh, I was able to do the causal graphs and also uh, do the causal prediction. I mean, the the the, the predictions and i was able to complete so today i just want to complete working on the report and also get an opportunity to get to work with uh, some previous projects that i had not I, I i wanted to go and just polish up on them because uh maybe it might be necessary and then i think yeah that's all that i'll be doing today and uh yeah that's all thank you any blockers on your end Anything interesting? That no, you none from my end. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for opening the floor on a very high note. And now we get on to um, Rahmet. Rahmet, if you can hear me, okay, please unmute and share with us your any updates, any blockers, and anything uh, interesting. Good morning to everyone. Good morning to you. So I. Yesterday, I tried to submit the submission. Uh, I have a blocker on the light issue. It's been three days in my home. Still, uh, the light doesn't come. But mm -hmm. I tried to finish yesterday's uh, assignment going to another place, Internet Cafe. Uh, it looks like I'm going to do that today too because the light's still out. So that's my biggest blocker so far, the light. Okay. So by but so electricity when you say electricity is out is it like the whole day and the whole night or it's yes. maybe part of the day? Oh, no. okay. For three days, the whole day there is a, a damage on one of the transformers, so okay. it's just a, a big issue. For Sounds three days, there's no light on the street. Yeah. Well, I, I would say uh, commendable efforts for ensuring that you kind of submit and do the work despite of the electricity problem. So thank you very much for sharing, Rahmet, and all the best. So I can see Yini Didia, you have your hand up. If you can hear me, just unmute and share with us. Okay. Uh, good morning, Mary. Bonjour. Uh, so to give an update, uh, I've submitted a subject in terms of mission both the GitHub as well as the reports for the care as well. Uh, but I haven't, I, I finished task one uh, in the morning, but I haven't been going according to plan due to some other reasons. And power outage was also, uh, in, on Monday and on, especially on Monday and Tuesday, I, I have been struggling with power outage and some other reason, but I'm now trying to catch up with what I haven't done. I've already finished task one, but I will try to finish task two as quick as possible uh, until Saturday. Okay, and when are you likely to be done with the second task? 
uh, I, I'll try to get it done before the final submission on Saturday, mm -hmm. but uh, I think it will take time. I haven't completely covered the topics. I've tried. I've been trying to understand the topics that we've been given, but uh, I haven't still understood the whole concept of task two, especially the casual inference part. But uh, I've already started that part and hope to implement and finish that part before the final submission deadline. Okay. And what exactly are you doing in terms of trying to understand the the assignment that is required of you? Uh, I've been watching and reading some materials that have been shared on the resource channel and mm. uh, it's clear up until now, but I haven't still started the implementation part. Uh, oh, I, okay. and I'll try to talk to other trainees as well as tutors once I start and if I face any kind of challenge. Okay, that's good to know that at least uh, you now understand what needs to be done and now it's getting it done the most important part of it. Yeah, and feel free to use the community and everybody for any assistance. Okay, thank you, Didier, for sharing. Um, Samuel, can see your hand up. Then after Samuel, it will be Daisy, then and, and then followed by Biniam. Samuel? Okay, we can't hear you. If you're speaking, you, you might still be on mute. Okay, yeah, sorry. Hello, Mary. Hello, everyone. And good morning, everyone. Uh, to give you an update from my side, I have uh, submitted all the submissions on time. I have done task one and um, I will begin task two today. Uh, I haven't started any implementation yet on task two. And uh, regarding choosing our track, I feel good about choosing my track and I think I have made the right decision. That's all for me. That's good to hear. Quite very confident. So, and are you confident that you know you meet the deadline for the sub for the yeah. final submissions? No yeah, problems I'm, on your yeah. end. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Daisy. Um, thank you, Mary. Good morning, everyone. Um, so on my end, my progress update is that. <coughs> sorry, sorry about that. Yesterday, I was able to hand in my submissions um, in good time. Um, and I also made a final choice regarding my career choice, which was, which was quite hard. Like I didn't see the confusion coming in last May, but I got so much help from Mariam and Arun um, to get clarity. Um, and I believe I made the right choice as well. Um, so today and tomorrow, I want to focus on the causal inference bit of the assignment. Um, I've been able to understand the theory um, following the tutorial session yesterday and the match reading I did into the while doing the submission for yesterday. So that really helped. Um, hopefully, I will be able to meet the deadlines for both final submissions on Saturday. Thank you. Awesome, awesome updates and good to hear there are no blockers. And also good to hear that you're confident about your career choice and congratulations and all the best on that. Okay, let's jump straight to Biniam. Biniam, if you can hear me, just unmute and share with us your progress. Okay. okay. Good morning, Mary. Bonjour, good morning. Okay, so to give you an update, yesterday I submitted the uh, interim submissions uh, in time uh, there were not any blockers i actually finished the uh, wednesday submission a lot earlier that means on monday but uh, uh, i was struggling to understand exactly how the task two subtasks are going to follow each other uh, especially the jacquard uh, index part i've been asking that question <laughs> repeatedly yesterday uh, I think I have some idea about it, uh, and uh, I will continue on implementing the subtasks and see how it goes. Other than that, uh, the creative choice was uh, very difficult for me as well. Uh, I was going back and forth between two choices, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence still, but uh, since I, <clears throat> I needed to make a choice, I just chose one of them. Considering the fact that the, my main goal coming here is to get a good job, neither of them can give me that. So, uh, as Arun uh, keeps saying, keep saying uh, that your first job is not the final job. So, 
if uh, it turns out that I don't like uh, the trades I made, I think it's easy to switch back to the other one. So, uh, yeah, that's where I stand. Thank you. Very positive, very positive from your end and a good attitude towards that. And I agree, usually um, whatever job you're at, even if it's not necessarily your first, is usually a stepping stone to to something better all the time. So it's about having a bigger picture and all the best with the choice you've had. But you've mentioned something about you think that now you understand what you're supposed to do. Are you, do you have any particular doubts or is there, like don't sound completely sure of what's needed to be done. Do you have any challenges that you need help with? Understand uh, the task? The technical implementation wise, I know to. I think I understand how to implement each of the subtasks. Uh, what I'm having a difficult time with understanding is uh, exactly why some of the subtasks are uh, included in the middle because uh, they don't seem to lead uh, to or contribute to the tasks that come uh, next. So. Especially the Jacquard index part, it, I don't see it helping uh, us uh, reach uh, or, or make decision on what the stable uh, uh, graph is. Mm. Uh, so uh, I understand how to implement each of the subtasks, but uh, it doesn't just, it's not making sense for me right now. That's all. Okay. So I, I am, to my knowledge, is that we have some tutors here. Any Desmond Musa, anyone who has a comment on that? Sorry, I, I didn't get the question quite well. Okay, Biniam, do you want to kind of just hit straight to the point with what your confusion is and what you don't understand that you get a comment? Okay, uh, okay. so um, it's, it's my understanding that ultimately the causal discovery part is supposed to lead us to uh, some kind of graph that is stable and uh, ready to be uh, used in the modeling uh, section but uh, there is a, subs a section where we're required to use the jacquard index uh, but i don't see why uh, we needed to do that uh, i don't see the use of the jacquard index because uh, I'm, I'm not sure how it it helps us get to the stable graph we're we're after um, yeah, can I <coughs> I think Martin can, can try and answer, but I think Jacquard was covered in yesterday's class. Uh, Martin? Okay, uh, for me, I've used the Jacquard, the Jacquard index to compare the graphs, and then I selected the best graph because uh, you you just, you, if you want to do, I, I, I told you over there in the chat, you just check the intersections and the unions between the edges. So like, for example, if you get your first graph, you, you get your first graph, you get the edges, you, you take your second graph, you, you get the edges, then you do your comparisons based on the two edges from the different graphs. So graph one, graph two, compare the two edges. Graph two, graph three, compare the two different edges. So the graph one, maybe you'll take 60% of your data and then you construct graph one. Then graph two, you'll take 70% of your data, you construct graph two. Graph three, maybe 80% of your data like that. So once you get, uh, once you construct until 100%, you'll have like maybe like five graphs, for example. Then you can now start comparing the graphs so that you can check which is the best graph that you can use to do the, to do, uh, the predictions throughout. Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Uh, can may I add one more question to that? Okay, so uh, I understand that, Martin. Uh, thank you for replying. But uh, my question is: uh, after making the comparisons, uh, what exactly are we looking for? Uh, I understand that the closer the number is to one, it's a better the comparison. But uh, Exactly what are we looking for? What What is uh, the stable graph look like in terms of the Jacquard? Uh, okay, so graph? for it's, example, yeah, you'll get like uh, your graph, maybe the first graph will perform maybe like 60%, 70%, 80%, like that. Uh, so 
there's a threshold like for example when you looked at uh, when, when you are implementing i'm sure you met a place where you find the threshold is equals to 0 0.8 or blah 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 so if your threshold is 0 0.8 then you need to check if all your graphs are above 80 percent then you can say if it's if all my graphs are above 80 percent that means my graph is stable but if uh, my, there is some graphs that are not above eighty percent. That means that some part that uh, some graph is not stable. Yeah, so it's good to when you're implementing it, you just check out that uh, all your graphs pass pass the threshold that you had already set for uh, over there up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah thank you. I think that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Marty. Awesome, guys, and thank you, Martin. For some reason, you, Martin can be really good at explaining things. I feel like I'm already learning one or two things uh, about everything. Anyway, um, let's dive straight to... Okay, Titus, I can see your hand up. Do you want to okay. mute it? Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, good morning, are you able to hear me? Loud and clear. Okay, so uh, from my side, um, Yesterday, I managed to make the submissions in due time. And uh, yeah, both the uh, careers and the technical part. Um, so basically, I just completed task one. Uh, I haven't managed to really implement uh, the technical part of task two. Uh, basically, yesterday, I was just going through the resources that, we, that were shared to us. And uh, yeah, there are still some unclear part, but uh, I've scheduled um, a meeting with my one of one of my peers, so we are yet to meet after uh, after this meeting, uh, so that uh, maybe we could uh, just um, clear out my the things that I've not really understood. So basically, about the submission, I'm hopeful to submit in time. I'm not really sure when I make to submit the, uh, the the assignment, but I'm really hopeful because the block on the part that I was the the implementation part I'm still yet to uncover it so yeah that's that from my side so thank you awesome thanks Titus and your career choice you were happy oh yeah there. oh yeah but yeah my career choice yeah um yeah I managed to select one after mm. careful consideration of all the factors and uh, yeah I'm comfortable with what yeah I, the selection that I made yeah awesome 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 thank you Titus to Wadrus Good morning, Mir, and good morning, everyone. Um, yesterday, uh, I've been working on the interim submission and uh, managed to submit on time. And um, today, my plan is going to be to get started on task two. Uh, so far, I've been uh, just exploring the theoretical aspect. So today, I'm hopeful that I'll get started on the implementation um, so that I can uh, submit the, uh, the final submission on time. Awesome. Any blockers? No, no, none so far. No, no okay. And your career choice? Happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it. Uh, I, I, I spent a lot of time make, uh, like <laughs> thinking about it, but uh, yeah, I eventually managed to, to decide and uh, I'm happy with my choice. I understand. It's not an easy choice to make. I believe you me. I do understand where you guys are coming from. Okay. Um, Matilda, then Salam. Can we hear from Matilda? Okay. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, everyone. Um, as for my progress, yesterday went along quite well until evening when I encountered a personal blocker that I, that I needed to urgently attend to, which actually um, prevented me from submitting my tasks on time. So I had to submit them early today morning. And yeah, that was my major issue yesterday. So as for my technical progress right now, I am getting into task two and I'm hoping that it will be smooth for me today. Thank you. And your career choice? Oh, as for my career choice, I was conflicted between two of them, mm. but I eventually managed to choose one. Yes, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Let's hear from Salam. Okay, uh, hello everyone and hello Mary. Uh, well, yesterday um, it was 
a good a good day i would say i submitted my tasks uh, on time and uh, when it comes to the career choice i've already uh, made up my mind uh, before i write it on paper so um i decided to choose one of them and later on uh, in future i'm going to switch to one of the careers i didn't choose now and that's the plan and uh, that's how it's going so far for me and i'm going to start working on task two today and i hope it would be good awesome awesome thanks for sharing salam and now i'm still waiting for any other hand up otherwise i'll get on the alphabets and you know it can be ascending or descending order so anyone who wants to go first next okay maron maron then Mara. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, so just to update you guys on my progress, I have been, uh, I was able to submit the assignments, the interim submission, and everything that was required yesterday. Uh, it was a bit difficult and challenging, but I managed to submit it. Uh, other than that, currently I'm working on tax two. I haven't actually got my hands on the coding part, uh, the implementation part of task two. I'm just trying to understand the causal inference and everything uh, by going through the materials uh, people shared on Slack and also given to us on the challenge document. So that's that for now. Uh, as for the career choice, uh, it was a bit confusing, of course, uh, but considering all the available informations I, I i i made my decision uh so that's it thank you awesome well done and thanks for sharing that and for any bloggers guys don't hesitate to use your community i know sometimes you might feel like you're bagging people but we are all learning and we're learning together the more we ask we ask the more we learn okay so tadese do you want to go next Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to see you all. <clears throat> I am a little bit less engaged in the, in the three weeks because of some task overlapping. Sorry for that. And uh, from my side, uh, I did the causal inference visualization EDA issues and uh, I have submitted my report. I only focused uh, on the interim report of the project other than doing on career uh, job, first job selection. For that one, uh, I, I did in a, just not in detail way, just in a small way. So I will try to elaborate that one if I get a chance to do so. And uh, as a blocker, uh, when I start the causal learning issues, uh, just uh, there is one module of Python which is which should be installed before. That's quite causal net. Causal net is not working for me. I'm using Windows, and uh, as a blocker, I'm doing on that one. Uh, I hope I will fix it later on. So that's my update, and uh, sorry for my less engagement of stand up. Now on, uh, I will proceed to actively participate. So Great to hear. Me. And are you are you seeking any help uh, with regards to your blocker? Have you reached out to anybody? Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, yesterday everyone is uh, writing uh, the report issue, so I haven't reached anyone. Uh, today I will. I'll reach Martin or Edidia, the other. Uh, I think I will reach them and uh, I will try to fix it with Heno or so this way. will come get them. Okay, so, so I will try that one. But uh, uh, as uh, just to clarify it, it is all about <laughs> installing the causal net on the Python module. Yes, I am using Anaconda. So uh, it is not installing uh, even when I use Conda and the PIP. Both of them are not working for me. I don't know, I'll try it later. 
Okay, I'll pretend as if I understand the technical bit of your challenge, but all I do, I know that I understand is that it is a blocker on your end and it needs to get fixed. So let's try and let's not assume that people are busy. Just reach out, let the people tell you that, okay, I'm busy at this moment. Uh, can I maybe get back to you at X and Y times? Because sometimes you might think somebody might have already submitted maybe ahead of time and you be there thinking that they're busy and you know it becomes a challenge on your end anyway um so try to get that fixed the so that it it is it does not uh become a hindrance for you to for your performance as well so who's next abel i've been waiting for you to come i've been majestically waiting because today i was going to to start from a and it's good that you raised your hand so do you want to unmute and share your progress okay, hello me hello okay yeah, okay uh i have been reading uh, documents on the previous okay. days and after finishing task one and summarizing uh, yesterday's submissions uh, which includes a uh, non-technical job track selection and uh, I am now attempting to do casual graphs, and I will continue working on task two uh, today. And uh, that's what I have. Any blockers? Any blockers? I can't say because I didn't go deep on task two casual, okay. uh, which okay. is an import. All right. Are you happy with your career choice? Uh, yes, uh, I have chosen my interest so far. Uh, mm. so yeah i think i can change in the future by seeing some conditions yeah all right thanks for sharing to spy do you want to unmute and share with us as well? okay hello everyone can you hear me hello okay yes. good morning um hear you and the people in the background <laughs> okay what about now now we can hear you alone Okay, uh, so uh, yesterday was, uh, I think it was a good day. I have uh, uh, finished my submissions in time and also uh, finished with the understanding of the challenge and uh, concepts of the casual inference, which is a challenge for this week. So uh, after today, beginning from today, it, it, it's all about uh, technical stuff. We also have done some technical stuff like EDAs and uh, uh, visualization and stuff on uh, GitHub, so we did that too, but uh, uh, starting from today, it's all about technical and uh, real uh, problem with the challenge, which is uh, the casual inference. So, uh, and yeah, that was good. And uh, the uh, on the career um, submission, yeah, I've chosen uh, one track and uh, we'll pursue it for the, uh, the following uh, four uh, months or so. So yeah, I'm happy with the decision and uh, we will see what happens. Awesome. Congratulations for being very confident at that. So anybody else who's not shared, Amal, do you want to update us on what's going on on your end? Hi, Mary. Hello. How are you doing today? Great. We can't hear you. Doing great. Doing great. Okay, that's better. So basically, I tried uh, my best to submit yesterday's inference, and um, hopefully today I'll go deeper into task two. Sorry, we lost you for like two seconds there. Um, okay, I I submitted the interim mm. reports. Yeah, so hopefully today I'll continue with task two. Uh, okay any okay no blockers awesome all right thank you very much amal for sharing can we hear from hmm who are... from her one should we hear from her one now her one are you able to hear me okay yes i'm able to hear you hello good morning Good morning. You want to share um, updates? Yeah, I wrote uh, my update on the comment session, but I think. Do you want yeah, me you to can... tell? 
you can just take the floor anyways. Oh, okay. So um, yesterday I was working on the interim submissions. Um, I was able to submit the, the GitHub uh, on time, but I wasn't able to submit the report. Uh, I was doing the article review and that took me some time. Um, and uh, career choice also uh, was a challenge. Um, so this is my update on my, on my side. Okay, it was a challenge, and is it still a challenge? Um, I I found a way to 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 like okay, so choose it's no longer a blocker. Yeah, it's no longer a blocker. Okay, okay, that's the most important part. Okay, so who are we hearing from, Baruch? Morning, Mary. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you. So, uh, to give you an update on my side. So yesterday I was uh, able to submit all the submissions, um, and uh, I have also made my decision on one of the track. Um, so after that, I am trying to understand all the uh, concepts, the casual inference modeling techniques, and things like that. Um, I'm, t I'm, I'm on task two uh, by now, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make the progress as fast as, fast as possible. Yeah. And uh, so far, no blocker, and I'm hopeful that I will complete everything for the final submission, yeah. Okay, and the career choice exercise went well? Yeah, it went well, and um, actually it was uh, not that hard decision for me because I already knew my decision uh, before, so it was an easy, an easy decision for me. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing. And Kevin Chacon. Yeah, good morning, have... good morning, everyone. So yesterday, yesterday I was working on task one and I, I managed to finish it. And uh, I also worked on my all interim submission, including non-technical and technical. And today I'm planning to to implement casual inference. And yeah, no broker so far. No broker so far. Great to know. And career exercise? Yeah, and I choose my track. Make... Okay. Right. Awesome. Awesome. Nardos. Then then we have Nahum after Nardos. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mary. Sorry, my connection. You can hear me, right? My connection is bad. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so um, I've submitted my uh, tasks yesterday on time, but I just found out this morning that I forgot to turn in the interim report, which was very annoying. But uh, I did the rest okay, and it's going well. I already made my career choice, which was a bit struggle at first, but uh, I think I made my decision now. And yeah, this week has been going well so far. So uh, the following exercise, task two, is gonna be a bit tough. I haven't understood the whole thing yet, but I'm ready to do everything on time. I hope I'll be on time. Yeah, that's my update. Awesome, thanks to know. And uh, sorry about that, um, you know, missed missed deadline for submission just because you forgot to, to click that button. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so those are the tiny minute details that uh, we, we really need to be very careful about so that we kind of keep on polishing them up because when you get to the, to, 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 the, to work, some small details like those can cause a lot of damages. So there are things we need to really be very careful on, be a little bit more detailed about them. Anyway, so um, hmm, I think we have not heard from Nahum. He was here, where did he go? Okay. Have we, have we heard from all of us? Is there anybody who has not shared with us yet? You can just raise your hand if you've not. 
I think Nahum was the last person. All right, as we wait for um, Nahum, I would say um, really proud of you guys that I know the career exercise and like choosing your your path can be quite complicated and can be quite difficult. I know there was a, that reminds me of a discussion we had with some a few youth groups. Sorry, I'm a bit of a storyteller um, uh, regarding how how we as African youth tend to choose our um, what influences our choices in terms of career paths and all that. And there was a whole lot of debate around, you know, a lot more in, uh, in, much being influenced by our local, like our surrounding, basically our economic status and all that. And it being a very significant, um, basically a good, a well-paying job being very significant. But the, the debate was about what is it that should be considered first, should be top of the list when you're doing this. And it reminded me of the time um, when I finished my undergrad. So my undergrad is in medical biotechnology. So um, when I finished, when we finished our undergrad, I, I had an opportunity to actually go for a professional internship with, with BioNTech. In, in Germany, uh, just because you know the university had a thing for the first for the best female student in biotech and the best student in biotech after graduation. So when I was hooked up to that, um, I had a very probably that was the most difficult decision, which I say I can relate to what you're going through right now to make, because. Uh, during my academic internship when I worked in the in a biotech medical biotech lab for over eight weeks, I actually realized that you know I, I do not want to be in that environment in terms of like I don't want to spend the rest of my life uh, doing that, being with machines and all that. I'm more like I want to work with people. Yes, health is my area, but but not in the lab. So when when that opportunity came about to go for an internship, a very big paid internship in a very, um, very good um, uh, company, I kind of, I turned it down and it was the most difficult decision I've ever done ever since I completed uh, my university because everybody was happy for me. My, my family, they were like all over to the moon. But um, I, I knew that that's not my area of passion in terms of the, like, the work environment. And I said, no, uh, I, I had sleepless nights for like two weeks thinking that should I have said yes, should I have said that. But one thing I got to realize through that experience is that, um, yes, it was a good, it was a paid internship with a proper pathway for me to develop as a medical biotech uh, person. But I realized that um, investing, when everything crumbles, when everything goes sideways, one thing, the two things that keeps you afloat and keeps you sane in whatever career you're in is the passion for the job, the love for the job, and, and two, having a greater purpose to what you want to achieve, uh, you know, what you want to contribute to the uh, for the greater good, basically for your country, for your continent, what is it that you want um, to contribute? So that has kept me afloat. And thankfully, I don't look back to regret that because I chose to kind of focus on things that I love and also focus on what I want to do with myself in terms of, you know, what do I want to change in my country, in my community, in the world in general? So yeah, so uh, congratulations for you, you guys for going through that phase with a career exercise. And sorry about the random story that came from anyway, from uh, from the chat that from your updates. Anyway, now we've come to the last part of the stand up, the most exciting part. Are you guys excited for this? I feel like. I'm alone in here. 
Are you excited for the hot seat now? Yes, I can I can see people I excited for this. All right. All right. Oh, thank you very much, Samuel. Yeah, it reminded me like it. Yeah, stories. I love stories and would like to hear some from you sometime in once in a while. OK, drum rolls for the hot seat. And now I would like to request our crowned participant for the hot seat to turn on her video, our very own Stella. Are you there, Stella? Stella, we're waiting to hear from you. If you can hear me, just unmute. Oh. Hey. And turn I you on. We want to see you, you know? <laughs> ah, Good there morning. you are. How are you doing? Are you ready for the hot seat? <laughs> no, but okay. <laughs> Nobody is ever ready for these things, yeah? For the for for the sports. Anyway, guys, so um I'm gonna um do a stopwatch and I hope you guys have prepared your questions. Now I want to see some hands up before we get started, before we turn on the uh mm. Yes, Amal, well done. Anyone else? We, we need to see about 15 of them. 15 hands up so that we kind of rapid fire get started. There are only two people who are curious to know stuff. Okay, Matilda, there you go. Anybody else? Who's leading the male community here? Because I'm seeing only female female community ready to, to ask. Guys, come on, I'm still waiting for, for more hands before we get started. Okay, Salam, there you go. Hmm. I hope we still have the male community in the house. Okay, Samuel, yes. Anyone else? Biniam, okay. Keep the hands going, keep the hands coming. And in one minute, we'll get started now. You, you do, yeah, well done. One more, one more hand. We need one more hand to get started. It sounds like an auction of some sort. <laughs> yeah, but we, we, we're really looking for another one more hand. One more hand up. All right, DA comes to, and the timer starts. Just hold on, the timer <clears throat> starts now. Amal, do you wanna go first? Hi, what's your biggest fear, Stella? Uh, snake. Snakes, okay. Uh, Daisy, do you wanna go? What motivates you the most? Um. <laughs> say what also like i said um i think just being scared of poverty and me trying to make a better life for myself awesome awesome matilda do you want to go next yeah so what's the one thing that you really value in this life family Family is number one for me. Family, awesome. And Samuel, do you want to go next? What is the thing you regret? Your biggest regret? Sorry? Yeah. Or not starting coding earlier when I was in uni. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Salam, if you're speaking, you're on mute. Uh, okay, what's the happiest day of your life? Mm. It has to be the day that I met my newborn sisters, each of them. That was my favorite um, moment. 
Awesome. Awesome. Biniam? What's the best decision you've made in the last year in the worst? My best decision is joining the academy and my wife, um, uh, well, I haven't thought about it. <laughs> okay, so that's a pass. Okay. Uh, Biniam? Oh. <laughs> that was, I, I just asked. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you did, yeah? Uh, what are you afraid of in life? <laughs> Poverty. <laughs> Poverty, okay. Uh, dear Mac? Uh, what is your nickname and uh, why are you called that? Okay, so my family calls me Maquette, which is uh, the short hand for Makena, which is my um my home name yeah awesome maron go what do you hate what do you hate the most mm, being lied to lies interesting okay guys i hope you're listening to this lies no lies for her nardov okay stella what is you favorite winter activity winter activity okay we don't have winter in the <laughs> end <Kenya, but laughs> oh uh, okay yeah okay. but a hot cup of chocolate uh when it uh very cold yeah awesome awesome okay almond what is the most played music on your phone <laughs> so, um, it has to be this song by Thames. Um, yeah, just Thames. <laughs> okay, okay. Nerdos, then Salam again. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, that was for the same question. Ah, okay, okay. Daisy? Uh, you just made the biggest mistake of your life. Who are you calling first, your mom or your dad or none? What's your 911? <laughs> My mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your mom. Okay, Michael, go. Uh, play that music for us. <laughs> that I'm on said. <laughs> okay, so, um, so for her to play it? Yeah. <laughs> okay probably you can share a youtube link later so that we kind of get more questions going okay i can even see it oh, you can sing it <laughs> go ahead go ahead give us something baby film a command like zombie got a new company it's that one <laughs> okay okay i i hope everybody has enjoyed okay we still have uh we still we still have about um 40 seconds amal go say that again sorry we can't we can't hear you properly so adjust your mic in the meantime daisy can go um with kid of boy Whiskey all the way. <laughs> Whiskey all the way. Nice. Matilda, go. Um, what was your most memorable moment in campus? Hmm. Um ten seconds. It was it was the day uh, when I got uh nominated as the Huawei campus ambassador for my university. It was a big moment for me. Awesome. And what's the name? What was the name of your first boyfriend? <laughs> Adrian. Adrian. And two seconds. Time is up. Well done. Well done, guys. Let's give it up for our hot seat crown princess or queen, Stella. So, 
Okay, Stella, so how was it? It was actually really nice, um, <laughs> but quite uh, nerve-wracking. Okay, okay. So, um, Stella, you have managed to respond to 19 questions, 19 questions, and you've only passed one. So, congratulations, and a lot of clapping emojis should come from the audience, waiting to see them. So any two feedback, two quick feedback from the audience? Two quick feedback from the audience? First come, first serve. Faith? Yeah, um, she got a good taste of good music, so keep it up. <laughs> so, so you kind of see some coloration there, yeah? That's right, that's right. Okay, so you guys, Stella, you've heard, whenever you visit Kigali, tell Faith to take you for some music because you have similar tastes. All right, one more, one more before we close. All right, since there's no more, then I'm going to invite any final announcements from the team. Any final announcements from the 10 Academy team, from any tutor? And I'll give it 30 seconds. All right, for me, I have one big announcement from the higher apps. The higher apps. Yeah, the higher apps on continent level. Keep doing what you're doing. You're good. You're doing a good job, and we are proud of you. Okay, guys. Um, all right. Have a lovely day, and enjoy, keep working on your tasks. Bye, bye. <laughs>